Hi, my name is Dave Godfrey and welcome to this Number Fun Assembly. This is the first of three assemblies on the theme of talents. Now, I wonder how many of you have watched TV programmes like Britain's Got Talent, The Greatest Dancer, The Voice. These are all about talents, things that are like natural gifts or skills that we've developed. So some of you might have a talent that's a sporty talent, a musical talent, a caring talent, a sort of an arty type talent, or it might be singing or whatever. But where do we get the word talent from? Well, actually, 2,000 years ago, in Roman times, a talent was something very different. A talent was a unit of mass. And if you had a talent of gold, it, may, it had a mass of 50 kilograms. Now, that's a lot of weight, a lot of mass. It would be like having a year five child and a year two child on some scales. 50 kilograms, it's really heavy. And you know what? 50 kilograms of gold are worth today about two and a half million pounds. Wow, that's so much money. So a talent in Roman times was a unit of mass. So how come we talk about talents as being things that we do, like a gift or a skill? Well, it actually comes down to Jesus' story. And Jesus told a story that went something like this. There was once a very rich landowner. Ho, 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 that's me. Let me tell you what happened. I'm a really rich landowner who owns loads of land and have loads of money. And I decided to go away on a holiday. And I thought, what shall I do with my money? I thought, I'll give it to my servants to use wisely. So I called my three servants and said, Oi, servants, come here. And they came. And I thought, servant number one had been with me such a long time. I thought, I'll give him five talents oh, worth loads and loads of money. Here you go, servant. Use the talents wisely. I thought, second servant, he's been with me quite a while. I'll give him two talents. He's quite good at his job. Oi, servant two, here we go. Ha, ha, ha. Good job. Use the talents wisely. Servant three was relatively new to me, so I thought, I'll still give him some talent, or one talent, worth two and a half million pounds in your money. I thought, oh, here you go, servant. Use the talent wisely. Ha <laughs> ha. And then I thought, I'll go on my trip. So away I went, leaving my servants with all my money. Well, after a while, I decided to come home. And I thought, hmm, I'll settle my accounts with my servants. So I said to servant one, servant one, what have you done? Well, well, I, I spent your money on a lovely bread factory. It did cost me five talents, but I made a lot of money. I've now doubled my talents. Ten talents. Hey, hey. Oh, I was really pleased. You good and clever servant, you. You've doubled your talents. You've used them really wisely. Oh, come and share my happiness. <laughs> then I thought, servant two, what about you? Oh, 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 well, Bosch, <laughs> I brought a dog walking business <laughs> and it went really, really well. I've doubled my talent too. <laughs> I was really pleased again. Well done, servant too. You've doubled your talents. Come and share my happiness. I'm really pleased with you. Then I thought, oh, servant three, talk to me. Well, well sir, I was a bit frightened of you. So I thought this looked like a carrot. So I hit, went and hid it with the carrot, sir, and hid it underground. And then I went for a run and uh, I've just dug it up, sir. Uh, oh, oh. oh, he was not a happy chappy. You naughty servant. You buried it in the carrots. <laughs> oh, no, you should have put it in the bank. That's where it would earn loads of money. You lazy and wicked servant. If you're given talents, use them wisely. The others have doubled their talents. Oh, I was not happy with him. I said, give that one talent to the one who's got ten. Oh. And then I thought, well, at least I've got two servants who've using their talents wisely. Ha <laughs> ha. See ya. Oh, oh, oh. So that's the story. Jesus told a story about doubling and about doubling talents. 
And one interpretation of that story is about our gifts and our skills. So I wonder how can you double your talent? I encourage you to do it today. In fact, before you go, have a quick chat. Pause the video and have a quick chat about what your talents are. So what are your talents? Well, I'm going to show you a few talents next time. You could say I've got a bit of a sporty talent. Um, I've written some songs. That's another talent I've got. I'll show you some more next time. And join me next time because we're going to play a game. The game is called What's My Talent? I wonder how you get on with that. See you soon. Bye.